UDHR connections. Are you struggling? Well, have you come to the right place? This mini-me in this tiny box can give you some assistance. If the mini-me in this tiny box can't get it all right, done for you, please don't hesitate to come to the Zoom. Where the big me and the big Mrs. Poco, and I say that with some sarcasm because Ms. Poco and I are about the same size, uh, can help you out some more. So, we are going to practice this using some of the HR articles that we've already done. So let's first look at the assignment. So Friday, UDHR Connections. Watch this video of how to make UDHR Connections. Video we're watching right now. And then I've given you the template that we've used uh, earlier this week, or last week, so that you can you are familiar with it and you can use that. If you feel comfortable writing your own, feel free. But there's a template. And you see that we also have UDHR Articles link. You'll notice that there are less articles for this activity so that you're not trying to use all uh, 12 of them that we used. We're using uh, about five or six. So it's a lot less, it makes life just a little bit easier even. So we're going to use this article, Why Rohingya Muslims Are Fleeing Myanmar in Droves. This is articles, Human Rights One from week three. So you'll recognize it from that. And I found a paragraph already. It says, the UN official says Myanmar's military and Buddhist villagers are terrorizing the Rohingya. Their villages have been cleared out and burned. The Rohingya are being forced out of the country. This makes me think hint, uh, about the UDHR articles. Now, when I think about that paragraph, I think, first of all, if their houses are being burned down, they have, no part, they have nowhere to live. And if their fields are being burned down, that means they have no food. So we need to take care of that. We have to have no food and they have no houses. That sounds like there's something in the UDHR about that. And then the fact that they're being forced out of the country. They don't have a choice. Maybe they want to stay. Maybe they felt comfortable in that country. Maybe their family's in that country. But now they're being like kicked out. So let's see what we can find in the UDHR articles that maybe connects to those ideas. So we're going to go here, UDHR articles link, and we're going to click this. And if you just click like this, it may pop up in a box like this and just block. You're welcome to use it like that and just scroll through down here. If you want it in another tab, I'm that kind of person, I just like it bigger and better, uh, the box with the arrow pops it right into a new tab for you. So now I'm thinking in the teens to the 20s. So let's just go somewhere in the middle, 17. Uh, American family, the right to seek a safe place to live. So 17, uh, you're frightened of being badly treated in your own country. We all have the right to run away to another country to be safe. So even though they're being forced out of their country, they have the right to seek a safe place to live. So this is actually a really nice one to make that connection about them being forced out of the country. So 14 is a good one. So let's keep that in mind. 14. And the other one was about food. Food and shelter. Uh, let's go the other way now. 25. Food and shelter for all. We all have the right to a good life. Mother, children, people who are old, unemployed, or disabled, and all people have the right to be cared for. This is another good one. We believe that people have the right to food and shelter. Please don't say that you deserve food and shelter because deserve is different than right. So we're using the word right intentionally here. So people have the right to food and shelter. So if their houses are being burned down and their fields are being burned down, they have lost their right to a home. They have lost their right to food. That's Article 25. And then if they are being forced out of the country, they have the right now to seek a safer place to live where maybe their homes aren't going to be burned down, where, they're, uh, where they'll have access to food. So we have... Three, three stories and two articles. So let's go back to the activity. I'm going to close that. So you can't copy and paste. It's just not going to happen because the way I set it up, so it will stay there forever and ever and always for you. And I'm going to get rid of that, but I am going to type. So article, and we said 25 is being... So it's being upheld 
is being broken? Were they get keeping were they keeping the promise? Were these people getting food and getting shelter? Or was it being broken? Was there no food and no shelter? Right, it was being broken. And so that is what you do. Apparently it doesn't like Rohingyas. The Rohingya homes. Oh, because I had multiple gotcha. Rohingya homes. Okay? And that is what you do each and every time you have this.